Hey guys, um, I often get asked on Instagram if I could show uh, on YouTube the material which I use for training. So I thought I will give you this quick introdu introduction about all my training material which I use for swimming, cycling, running and uh, for recovery. Um, so let's get straight into it. For swimming, I mostly get asked about my goggles. I mean about swim ca caps or swim pants or overall clothing. I won't give like a lot of introduction now. It's mostly like really about the material and gadget I use. For the goggles, I actually use uh, one from, from Hube. It's the Waga goggles. I have this in polarized and also in see-through, like for indoors. Here in Girona, um, the, the swimming pool is pretty bright. So that's why I use, the, use uh, those polarized ones. I always also get always asked about this heart rate sensor. This one um, is the only thing in this video um, which you can see which is not sponsored, but I can say it's it's from Polar. It's the um, OH1, I think. And yeah, it measures my heart rate. I always have it like here on my head. It's not bothering, pretty comfortable and very accurate. Um, so yeah, it's a perfect gadget to measure heart rate um, during the swim session. Then let's get straight um, onto, onto the bike. So yeah, I have my Cube Lightning C 68 race it's it's the team line edition from cube ride it with a shimano um, ultegra di2 disc brakes have my wahoo element rome which is i like the most for road bike and for gravel or a cross bike for the race i actually use the bolt the smaller unit as helmet i've got the ekoi gara which i really like for for training has a lot of ventilation so perfect for training and for glasses the premium 90 which I got in different colors mostly using the silver one just because it matches the most uh, to all my cycling gear um, yeah my cycling gear uh, clothing is all from Castelli obviously then for yeah which is which is new are my wheels I am sponsored by Vision now so here for training I got the Vision Matron 45 SL really fast wheels with a very wide rim. As you can see, these are like uh, the Continental 5000 STR tires, tubeless. So that's 28 millimeters, but because the rim is so wide, it's actually as wide as uh, 30 millimeter tires. It's really, really comfortable for cycling, and I really love that, and fast as well, of course. As chain, I've also got um, my sponsored KMC, DLC 12 speed chain. That's the fastest chain on the market, market undoubtedly. I also got, I also have to have a, got it waxed. So um, for the road bike, not really for performance reasons, but for um, yeah, it's just it's just clean because there's not you don't have the oil. For as power meter, I use the Wahoo um, Powerlink Zero both on both sides. It's actually. Um, the most accurate power meter I've ever had. I compared it already to this uh, Cyclist 2 Turbo Trainer or power meter. And yeah, this is a reads one to one the same number. And saddle I have on my, on my road bike, the Gebiomized uh, Stride. Yeah, it's actually a TT saddle, but I really like it for my road bike as well. What else do we have on the bike? Oh yeah, my bike shoes. I've got the DMT. KR SL, very very comfortable shoes with this uh, fly uh, this knit material here on top. You you can get them with laces. You can also get them with the boa system. Nutrition wise, I of course got power bar. Like cycling, I often you usually use the the isoactive for all my rides, and also gels, either with caffeine or without caffeine. You got the choice there, but then I'm really happy with the with the overall performance and range what Power Bar has to offer. Also, you see for recovery, I usually have a mix of the Recovery Max, which has protein and carbohydrates, which I mix with the Deluxe Protein, which basically has only protein and mostly casein, while the Recovery Max mostly has uh, whey. I usually take like for 300 milliliters of water, I take two scoops of um, deluxe protein and three scoops of recovery max. Yeah, so you got a lot of proteins, but also carbohydrates right after training. And for running, of course, I have a lot of shoes I use from on, like the 
Cloud Stratos, um, but my favorite shoe by far is the Cloud Monster. Here we have like a, a used version, <laughs> used the stride sensor for all of my all of my runs, just to have some more data, like power for running as well. Sometimes I use also use it during the session also for pacing, but mostly it's just to collect the data and compare uh, sessions or also run run mechanics. In my shoes, I have the the Curex Run Pro insoles, which gave me a little bit of extra stability to prevent me from injury and it actually also helps that the shoe um, lasts longer because it takes some from from the impact it's just basically better soles compared to like normal insoles um, what you got in the shoes usually if i get to fast running i, I like to wear uh, worn down race shoes so i got here my Cloudboom Echo 3 edition from, from last year, from last season. It, like, it's still good to run in, but for the races now I obviously got a new Cloudboom Echo 3. And yeah, this one is, is pretty much pretty much run down, but it's still good, good for training. And I like that because you have not this great effect which you got with new uh, race or with new carbon shoes, but you still got the feeling of this, uh, of this race in carbon shoes and um, yeah, some extra bounce for, for faster or harder sessions. To track all my uh, run activity, I used the Wahoo Element Rival Watch. Really happy with it. I'll be honest, when it came out, I was already sponsored by Wahoo, but I wasn't happy with the watch at all. So I haven't used it in the, begin in the beginning, but now it got, got a lot better and I'm really happy with, with all it, it can do. And yeah, just, just all you need and it's a really good watch, can only recommend. Oh yeah, about the uh, indoor training, I obviously lose the, lose the Wahoo um, Kicker Trainer, which I also brought here to training camp, uh, Girona. I haven't used it yet here because, um, yeah, the weather's just too good outside, luckily. Let's hope it stays like that, but in case it gets bad weather, I have it here. And also for recovery after sessions, I often use the, the Reboots One Pro recovery boots. I just really like those because you just put it on, switch on a program, and then you can just watch TV, work on your laptop, just check your phone or whatever. Like you don't have to do anything like with this other recovery gadgets. Yeah, that's basically it. I hope you liked this quick introduction to my training material. I'll try to do um, another video about my race material um, later this season when we get get to the races and um, yeah comment if there's anything else you want to know i try to answer uh, every question and of course don't forget to like and subscribe and cheers see you in the next video